Hey babes, what's up? I hope you all are doing so well. Let's do a Lululemon haul. There were so many amazing new releases as of late. So many jackets and coats and sweaters and cute little sets. And they even brought back the Wonder Unders as well. So I don't wanna waste any time. We're gonna go ahead and get on into it. But if you are new here and this is the first video of mine that you stumbled upon, my name is Carissa Burnside and I post tons of hauls, vlogs, and lifestyle content. So if you like the vibe here, definitely subscribe so you never miss out on a video of mine. But let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first category I'm gonna start with is some tees and tops. Here is the Align tank. And what's so cool about this is that they took the Align tank and kind of married it with like a Henley tank while still keeping a lot of the things that you love about the Align tank the exact same. I might be jumping the gun here, but I feel like this is my favorite version of the Align tank yet. And let me explain. The fit of this is just perfection. I think what makes it for me is the fact that they did it with a straight neckline. This neckline is so flattering and I love the three little buttons on it too. It has the rid new loo fabric and of course a built-in bra. I kept the padding in it just so that you can see, but I would normally take it out. But the length is perfect. The support that you get with this tank is perfect. It also comes in like 5 million color choices as well. But man, it's so good. So this is the version of the Align tank that is made for those with A and B cups. So for that reason, I sized up to a size four and that worked just fine. It fit really well everywhere. So give this want a shot, I don't think that you guys will be disappointed. So sticking with the Henley theme for a second, they came out with a Henley tank, a part of the Hold Tight collection, so just like a new style. If you've never tried out the Hold Tight collection, you have to. Like this fabric is just so amazing. It's so soft with just like the perfect amount of stretch in it. But with that being said though, I feel like this Henley tank in particular runs a tad smaller than the standard crew neck long sleeve version of this. So you might need to size up, but like like I said, it has a ton of stretch to it, so you might be just fine. The sad thing about this is that it went so quickly, so they need to restock this, they need to restock it fast, and while they're at it, they need to come out with it in more colors as well. Speaking of the hold tight, just like their classic crew neck long sleeve, I also got it. I had to get it in Riverstone. I feel like Riverstone is becoming my new bone. It is such a great neutral color. It's kind of taupey, kind of gray. It's a deeper tone. It is just so gorgeous. Similar sentiment about the fabric on this that I just shared about the Henley version. So soft, so buttery soft, so stretchy. This is a staple that everyone needs in their wardrobe and a really great layering piece as well. I'm wearing this all fall. I'm gonna be wearing it all winter long. It is a really, really good item. I always size down in these ones to a size zero just due to the amount of stretch in it. But of course, a personal preference depending on how you want this to fit. I was so excited when I saw this one. It is called the Side Cinched Ribbed Cardigan. It just looked like the perfect casual cardigan. In my mind that I would just keep button up that it will look just so good paired with jeans. Pleasantly surprised it is the same material as the Hold Tight collection. So a really soft ribbed modal fabric, again, really stretchy. And I just wanted to love this so bad, but the buttons on the front just gaped too much when I put this on. I could try sizing up to see if that corrects the problem, but it also makes me wonder if this top in particular is better suited for those with small breasts. I already got it in a size two, so we'll see if I go back and size up in it and try it out again, but just a forewarning about the buttons and the gaping on this. Okay, Lululemon is killing it with their sweater game this season. That makes me so happy. This sweater is so nice. It is plush and it's just a really soft crew neck sweater. The fabric of this is beautiful and I just love the portions of this too. I love the ribbed neckline on it and also at the hemline, it's also on the sleeves as well. The sleeves sit like a little bit wider. Oh, it's so it is overall like a slightly relaxed fit and it sits at your waist too. So it really is just like the ideal cut. I went with a size extra small on it and it truly is just like the ideal winter sweater. The only thing that I wish about this sweater is that they came out with it in more colors. They only have it like, I wanna say like in a pink and a blue color and this as well, but like give me Riverstone and give me some more neutrals, give me a black. That would just be perfect. So next item I got is this sweater vest. And okay, this fit a lot 
lot larger than I was anticipating it to fit. So I ended up wearing it as a tunic with a long sleeve and leggings underneath it. The fabric itself is a ribbed wool blend fabric that is really soft and also a little bit flowy as well. It's a mid-weight fabric, so it definitely has some good weight to it, but I like that it has movement and it's not stiff at all. And it is also not itchy. It has these really cool high slits on the side and also the armholes on the side are really big, so you kind of need to layer something underneath it. I'm probably gonna end up returning to this because it wasn't exactly what I envisioned what I had in mind, but it's definitely a really fun sweater and I love the color of this too. I cannot wait any longer, so I'm gonna jump in to the Wonder Unders. Lululemon brought back the Wonder Unders. Who knew that this was coming back? And depending on if you love the OG version of this, this might be the best news ever or the worst news ever. <laughs> For me personally, I wasn't a fan of the originals. I didn't like the cut of it. I didn't like the fit of it and the fabric choices that it came in also wasn't a fan. The comfort level of them too, ugh, it's just something about them I wasn't into. In come these and they made lots of changes, so let's discuss them, but I am so pleasantly surprised by these. First of all, they changed the fabric of these and they are made with a fabric called Smooth Cover. To me, they are just as soft as Aligns, but just more supportive. So I feel like they kind of fall between the Aligns and the Wonder Trains. I also feel like they are a bit thicker, so they're definitely gonna keep me warm so it's a really good legging for this time in this season. What I'm so happy to report on is that the cut of them is similar to Aligns. I just feel like Aligns are universally like the most flattering like how they're cut, the V in the back, the high rise of them. They're just in my mind like perfection. So I love that when they brought these back they actually introduced the V cut to really give your butt the most flattering look. It offers like a little bit of a lift too. The front seams on it has like a little bit of a curve. I still find it flattering. They are high rise and something that I'm really obsessed with about these is that they stay put. I feel like with the originals there was an issue where they kept writing down but these ones they don't require any adjustments at all. I don't need to tug at them. They really just stay in their spot. They are a 25 inch inseam so they come to my ankles. I'm 5'1". I went with my usual size in leggings which is a size 2 and I thought that that was perfect. Easy enough to get on and you definitely felt like that compression and support once they were on. So if you shared a similar sentiment to me with the original Wonder Unders, I think that you guys would really, really like these. Okay, jumping to a set before I get into some jackets and coats. I think by just me showing this much, you guys know what set this is. I was so excited to get this. And now that I have it and I've tried it on, I just love it a whole lot more than I thought I was going to. So this is the wide leg pants and the scuba oversized hoodie velvet corduroy set. I mean, is this the 70s or what? Can I just first off say, I mean, the Riverstone color in this is, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It also comes in two other color options. So I'll start with the pants for a second. So they say that these are a mid-rise on me. I feel like they're more of like a high-rise pant. I got these in a size two because I really truly wanted them to be relaxed pants. And my God, they are. So they're relaxed, they're loose, especially through the butt and the thighs, extending into a wide leg. So they're so comfy. They're so loungy. This is the long version. I think it's a 32 inch inseam. So you'll see on me, they're very, very long. They do offer them also in a cropped version, which is a 25 inch inseam. Maybe that could have been full length on me, but because Lululemon offers the free alterations, I'm just going to go take these ones in to get hemmed. But it has a thick waistband and they're not thin at all. It has like a good weight to them, which I'm very, very happy about. I thought that they were going to be thin, to be honest. And if at all possible, the hoodie is even better. Because this is the scuba collection, the sizing of this is kind of like the extra small, small, medium, large, like it's like the grouping of sizes. So I got this in a size extra small, small, and maybe just like a PSA. I really wish that they came out with this in an extra, extra small, extra small. That would have been amazing. But with that being said, you can see that this one is very much oversized on me. So dependent on how you want your sweatshirt to fit, I would advise sizing down. But in all honesty, I'm kind of vibing with the oversized fit of this. It's just so comfy and casual. Casual. kind of gives me effortless vibes a little bit too. Anyways, the neckline on this is really cool. It's kind of like a funnel. It offers a kangaroo pocket and even thumb holes. But what's so cool about the hoodie compared to the pants is that they actually lined this with this really soft cotton jersey. So it's double line, it's thick. This fabric in the inside is 
So I am here for this set, you guys. It is so, so, so nice. I'm kind of contemplating this being like my Christmas day outfit as well. Like it's just so good. Okay, let's get into some jackets, coats, vests. The first one I got was this vest. I was immediately drawn to the style of it. Kind of like utility safari vibes. And the color of this is gorgeous. This is in trench. And I think that this would be so amazing in the winter time because it is insulated it is thick it even has this like fleece collar oh my gosh to keep you just extra warm and there's so many other bells and whistles to this too there is pockets on the inside hand warmer pockets on the outside large pockets on the outside it even cinches at the waist I just loved how this looked on the model and that's why like I was drawn to it but the portions on this you guys it is not built for petites it really drowned me and overwhelmed my entire frame which sucks because I loved this so much but yeah, this one just did not work for me. Something that did work for me and what ended up being one of my favorite items from this entire haul is this alpaca knit bomber. Okay, so I was nervous to get this because a lot of the other alpaca items, they're all itchy. They're all itchy. I've tried like four different alpaca things, but to my pleasant surprise, it is soft and it is not itchy. It's also kind of a thick knit too. So it makes for a really nice jacket and a bomber jacket at that. I love the two-tone on it it's like the knit is one color and the collar and the hem is a different color the two-tone is really cool I am really happy with the overall fit of this it is slightly oversized so it's loose in the hips and the waist and it's also a little bit longer than I thought too so putting those things together it really just made for the perfect jacket in my opinion the quality of this jacket is really impressive too it just screams luxe this next bomber jacket it might take the cake it might be my favorite thing from this entire entire haul. It is this quilted bomber jacket. You guys, as soon as I put this on, I immediately fell in love with it. There were absolutely zero doubts about this jacket in my mind. Like, wow. The color of it, Riverstone, check. The fit, check. The fabric, check. Check in all my boxes. It is gorgeous. I feel like it's such a sleek and sophisticated jacket that can be dressed up or down. The fit is relaxed and it hits at that perfect spot on my waist. The hemline of this is already cinched in. It is a thick quilted fabric with the interior lined and that soft cotton jersey. It is movable. It's not stiff at the slightest. The sleeves are a little bit wide and it even cinches at your wrist. It has pockets on the outside. You guys, I can keep talking on and on about this jacket because it is just so good, but I mean, I have to move on. You need to try this out. It also comes in black too, but like this color, oh my god, this color, this color is the color. How many bomber jackets is too many bomber jackets? So Lululemon is definitely having a moment with bomber jackets and so am I. This is one of the latest releases. I just got this in the mail yesterday actually. It was a part of this week's release, but it is the Varsity Bomber Jacket. What's really cool about this one is that it's made with the Rulu fabric. Fabric. The Rulu fabric is similar to the Align fabric. It's like really soft, but they made this one really, really thick. It's gonna keep you warm, but keep in mind it is still like a lightweight jacket. This one also has kind of like a relaxed fit. It sits at your waist. It is wind resistant, and I just think that it's really versatile. Like I know it's gonna look really great with jeans, but I also see the vibe of just wearing this with leggings and more of like an athleisure look. I got this in a size extra small. They also offer it in black too. I'm not gonna be able to get this whole jacket in the frame. This is, this is a big boy. So this is the Snow Warrior Long Parka. I have been dying to try this out and you guys, this is an extremely impressive coat. The quality of this is so impressive as well. Like this is very comparable to my Canada Goose jackets that are I think three times the price of this. I'll explain more, but the short and skinny of this is if you are on the hunt for a winter jacket, just pause the video right now and go get this one because this is the perfect winter coat. They also offer this in two different lengths. So this is the long version, which hits me at my calves, but then they also have like a mid length option that would hit you at your thighs. As of right now, I think they offer this in two colors. This is the Riverstone color, of course, but they also offer in black too. To me, this is a jacket that's on the heavier side, but man, this is gonna keep you so warm. It's so well insulated. It's also waterproof too, so it's gonna be amazing for snowy conditions. Similar to that one vest that I showed you guys, it has like this fleece collar that's gonna just keep you so extra cozy warm, but it is removable too, which is kind of nice. It has a lot of like ventilation in it to make sure that you don't overheat, but 
also speaking about overheating i love this feature a lot of like snow jackets have this it's like these straps on the inside that allow you to put the straps over your shoulder and kind of wear your jacket as a backpack it like just hangs off to allow you to cool down if it does get too hot there is snaps on the side at the bottom as well for just easier mobility so many zippered inside and outside pockets to this it also has these bands on the inside at your waist to like cinch in your waist too just to add like more structure to the jacket i'm a really big fan of like puffer jackets but i've been getting into these ones more i just feel like they're more classic just having like that smooth fabric on the outside it's kind of funny how i'm holding this jacket right now kind of like a baby it's a big jacket sizing wise really quickly i went with my normal size of a size zero and that is the perfect size so i would just recommend going true to size all right you guys that is it that completes this entire haul kind of like a massive haul is it not lots of really good pieces i am so happy with all of the new releases that lululemon has been coming out with lots of new styles color options i am here for it you guys know there's going to be many more lululemon hauls to come so definitely make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on them if you're looking for even more lululemon content from me i have a whole lululemon haul playlist so i'll link that down below for you guys as well as everything mentioned from this haul will also be linked down in the description happy holidays i love you guys so very much and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye. Mwah.